real-time graphics is mostly limited by the available bandwidth, the number of pixels we can render and deliver per second. In the case of mobile graphics, the main constraint is the power needed to render. For cloud-based stream graphics platforms, the limitation results from the time-sharing nature of these services. To render within the limited bandwidth, the current approach is to either reduce the frame rate or the resolution. Neither approach is optimal, as they result in either jittery motion or an unsharp and aliased image. Here we build on the work of Danish and colleagues from SIGRA 2020, in which they propose to adaptively select the resolution and frame rate of computer graphics animation based on the velocity of motion. However, while their method reduced the resolution of the entire frame, we use a variable rate shading offered by recent GPUs to vary the resolution across the frame. Also, unlike their method, our method does not require eye tracking to estimate the velocity of motion. VRS lets us select the resolution at which the pixels are shaded for each 16 by 16 pixel block. While VRS results in alias textures and shading, it renders occlusions at the native resolution. To control the VRS and the frame rate, we propose a visual model that predicts the perceived quality of animation given velocity of motion, refresh rate, persistence, display resolution, shading resolution, and texture content. The model accounts for a wide range of spatiotemporal distortions caused by the discrete nature of displays and the rendering pipeline. Then, we use discrete optimization to find the VRS configuration and frame rate that can produce the best quality given the limited bandwidth. The model analyzes the animation in spatio-temporal frequency domain, in which the visibility of distortion can be predicted using a contrast sensitivity function of the visual system. The model is calibrated on several datasets, including our new VRS quality dataset. The new dataset captures the quality of animation as the function of velocity, VRS shading rate, and texture for three types of displays. Finally, we demonstrate the applicability of our model in real-time applications by integrating it with Unity 3D. When equipped with a VRS-enabled GPU and a G-Sync-capable display, we adaptively determine the refresh rate and control the VRS rate in each 16x16 16 16 block. When compared with traditional fixed resolution rendering and adaptive rendering by Danish and colleagues, our results show significant preference in a pairwise comparison experiment. The following video clips show examples of content and the adaptively computed VRS maps which we use in the preference experiment. Because we cannot reproduce variable refresh rates up to 120 Hz in this video, the following clips are resampled to 60 Hz. The top left and right clips contain rendering at the fixed resolution and refresh rate of 30 and 120 Hz while having the same budget in terms of pixels per second. The bottom left video contains our adaptive VRS rendering. The VRS rate for each block is shown in the bottom right. The bar shows the current refresh rate used for our adaptive rendering. 